looking here? It's a meteorite. This is some of the oldest known stuff on Earth. Created 4.5 billion years ago from the beginnings of our galaxy, it finally made its way here to me. This requires an in-depth study. Way back when, there were tons of explosions and bright colours of all kinds and rocks and planets and stuff wound up in orbit around a star, now known to humans on Earth as the Sun. So even though this is really old, it's only recently been a meteorite. A meteorite, by definition, is something that ends up making contact with a planet. Like this. Don't worry, these space materials are strong. They've endured quite a bit. Before it made it to a meteorite, it was a meteor. What most people call a shooting star or a fireball. It became a meteor once it entered into the Earth atmosphere, and it stopped being one once it landed on the ground. And before that, a meteoroid. A meteoroid is any object that's smaller than an asteroid and bigger than a single molecule, which includes a large variety of stuff. As I said before, debris. And what may be trash to some is precious metal to others. Meteorites are usually made of either silicate minerals or iron nickel. A lot tend to have both intermixed. To you and me, chondrites containing carbonaceous chondrites such as CI chondrite from the Ivunolite group and CMCO chondrite of the mini chondral clan to ordinary chondrites such as the HLL and LL groups, or even the enstatite chondrite class with EH and EL chondrite groups, to the achondrites primitive, HED meteorite clan, lunar and Martian as well as the stony iron meteorites such as palisites including eagle and pyroxene, mesosiderite groups too, and of course the magmatic iron meteorite groups such as IC, IIB, IIC, IID, IIF, etc non-magmatics IIB complex and the IIE meteorite groups. Just to be clear then, meteorites are pretty. They've been found on our moon and on Mars too. Here is a NASA recording from just a year ago of a meteoroid turning into a meteor just before smashing into the Earth's moon around Mar Nubium with the shake of a 2.5 earthquake on the Richter scale. So let's recap, shall we? And how? First, there was an explosion billions of years ago and now we have a bunch of meteoroids rotating around. Some meteoroids enter into the atmosphere of objects like Earth, thus becoming meteors, which often end up meteorites upon impact with the body. For more, have a look at NASA's meteorite sites for a lot of goings-on in the world of space dust studies. Learn about the holes the space station has endured. Check out Flickr for captures by enthusiasts. Check eBay for a small piece of the action for yourself. And if you're interested in up-to-the-date meteorite news, see meteorite.com. This has been a Rocket Boom special report. Keep a lookout for the big one and remember, it all started in space. Got more? Add your comments and knowledge to www.rocketboom.com. Beep, 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 beep. Here comes the